wonderful day. I'm just going to install this wonderful app I downloaded. Install. <laughs> Mate, you what's going on? Hello, Ron. It's -a me, Game Tracker. Today I'm gonna show you the solution to this particular problem that I'm gonna show you how to solve it, and then we're gonna discuss installing apps from unknown sources and how dangerous it is. So if you don't care about security and you just wanna install the app you downloaded, just like me, what you do is usually the message will have a settings button that you can simply tap, or alternatively, you can go into your Android settings, you can go to security and there you will find the unknown sources checkbox which allows you to install apps from unknown sources or apps that are not on the Google Play Store. You simply enable this, you will get this warning message, tap OK, simply go back to the app you want to install, 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 done. There you go. It works perfectly. It's on your screen. You can use it. You can do whatever you want with it. But now let's have the security discussion. Is it actually safe to allow apps from unknown sources? What are the security concerns? Why is Android warning you about doing this? So here's the deal. There are many legitimate apps that are actually useful that simply cannot be on the Play Store because they are against some kind of policy. So for example, in our case here, the app I installed was, of course, this one. I'm not going to mention it. It's a game cheating app and therefore it's against the policies of the Google Play Store. It's one of the best apps out there of its kind. It's great. However, it's against the policies to modify your games. Um, so it's just not allowed on the Play Store, which is why the only way to install is to get it from an unknown source, uh, for example, Cheatware, and then just download it from there and install it. There's many, many problems with that. So especially in the case of game cheating apps, which is a huge part of the people that will actually be looking to do this, to install apps from unknown sources, is how do you know that this is the original app and that nobody tampered with it? So even if the original app is legitimate, in this case, this is an app I programmed. So it's, it's my app, I know it's clean. However, if you, for example, Google this particular app, if I Google search for the APK, uh, guess what? The first website that comes up is not from me. It's not my website. I don't know if they have a legitimate version of my app. These are YouTube videos from me, at least. And then this is not from me. I, I don't know if that's a legitimate app. I don't know if that's been tampered with. That's the thing about APKs, especially. It can be tampered with. They can be modified, edited. There's tutorials showing you how to do that on this very channel. So, of course, it can happen. And it's a security risk. We're absolutely sure. So. The official download website is at number, what's that? Like number seven in Google. Great job, by the way, Google. Way to give people what they want. Or this is an even worse example. It's also a game cheating app. And the official website on this one is simply not in Google whatsoever. You're only gonna get fakes in these search results. And most of them don't work, like at all. With a lot of these apps that are from unknown sources, you have so many problems because they are not available on the Play Store and you have to rely on Google to actually find the legitimate APK, which in this case, that's a fake website. I know that. They got their APK from the fake websites. So this one is fake too. Uh, this one is fake. This one is fake. I tried all of them. The only APK that actually works is if you somehow get your hands on the original APK and then you click their official website link, then you get to the official website, but it's nowhere to be found in Google. So getting a hold of the legitimate APK for any unknown sources app that you want to install is a huge problem. So let's move on. What other problems are there? Now, of course, if you install something from an unknown source, there may be all kinds of stuff wrong with it. There may be adware. There got, may, they may be sending you notifications with ads in them. They may be selling your data. They may do all kinds of stuff and there is absolutely no oversight. And you may not even be able to find out who initially created the app. And again, anybody that gets a hold of the APK can modify it to do different stuff. So even if the original creator didn't tamper with the app and it was okay, somebody else might have. And then even worse, if you have for some reason admin access to your device on your Android device, all bets are off. The app can do anything. There is no walled garden anymore. You can get infected. 
which you don't want. And of course, of our, on our website, we have a whole guide on what kinds of files you can trust and what you can't trust. Now, what I recommend people do is do your research on the websites where you download this stuff. Make sure you're dealing with the original creator. Make sure you check their reputation on all kinds of forums, on all kinds of websites, wherever you can. Links in the description if you want a guide on how to do that. Do not ever install an unzoned sources app that's in any way shady on a phone that's important to you, okay? If you have your bank account on your phone, do not install any unknown sources app ever. Unless, in my case, I installed my own app because I programmed it, so I knew it wasn't gonna do anything. Nobody could had ever any chance of tampering with it, so I did that. But other than my own app, I would never install an unknown sources app on a phone that's actually important, you know? The phone that you use to verify your accounts for two-factor authentication for your bank account. Never ever install an unknown sources app on any of these devices. You're unsafe enough with known sources apps. Even on Google Play Store, sometimes bad actors get through. So never ever, please, for the sake, for your own sake, just please never do that. If you want to play around with unknown sources apps, what I recommend is if you have somewhere like a five-year-old phone with a phone number you don't care about, a, a, a trash phone of sorts, use that to test these apps. Or of course what I do, and you guys may have already noticed it, I'm using an emulator, okay? There's gonna be a link in the description to the best emulators. They can also easily be rooted. And if anything goes wrong, if you install some kind of shady app, uh, there's really literally nothing that can go wrong because worst case scenario, you can just uninstall your emulator, reinstall it, and no harm done. You're, you're starting from a clean slate, your phone isn't wrecked, your accounts, uh, well, you connect an account that you don't care about. Or many emulators, you don't even have to connect a Google account. So please take precautions when you're doing this. And you really have to trust the people that are having you download these unknown sources. Uh, in my opinion, Google's policy on this kind of stuff is a bit, well, not very useful. Like apps like my own should be able to be on the Google Play Store so that, so that people have some kind of oversight. You know, they know that this isn't malware, that I'm the original creator, that this is the actual app, a clean app. Um, yeah, is it is it is it a app for the purpose of cheating in games? Yeah, so who cares? It's more important that people have an app that they can trust, that they know is original, that where they know who created it, the company that created it, where the company is, and so on. So I recommend if you are ever gonna install an unknown sources app on any phone, make sure you know who created it, you have their address and you know that this is the actual version that's never been tampered with, so it comes from a server that this company owns, they're hosting it, they're guaranteeing, but with their name and their address and their phone number that this app is the app that they want you to install. So, and if you don't have that, don't, don't. If if it's like, like in our case, just some people that downloaded our app, up, re-uploaded it, maybe they downloaded it from us, maybe from someone else, maybe they tampered with it, someone tampered with it along the way, you don't know, you don't know. Like, all these app stores that just copy other, uh, that copy every app they find somewhere online and just upload it, you, you just don't know. You don't know if it's the actual thing or not. You, there's no way to know, sadly enough. Anyways, so this is my rant on unknown sources apps. And just the worst thing ever you could do, just make sure you're not doing that. If you have your main Android device and you just, you know, you installed King Root or something and it's rooted now and you just install any unknown sources app on it and you're also managing your bank account and you're also verifying all your accounts to factor authentication and everything through that phone. Um, you are in danger. Please don't ever do that. <laughs> Stop doing that immediately. So that's the security part of this. Uh, please be very careful. If, you, if you've ever tried downloading any of these game cheating apps, for example, uh, you know that there is so many fakes out there. I mean, for example, this app right here, um, there's people, they they just, they made a fake version of it. It basically goes to a website where it asks you to fill in a human verifi verification. Oh, the scams that are going on, and they're amazing. Like with many of these apps, if you Google them, you will only find, find fake versions. You won't even find the real one. <laughs> so that's why, of course, uh, we have cheatware.net to actually download the legitimate ones. 
But even there, like even even here, like we can only um, make the best guess as to which one is the best one. We, t we make, take the one that works and that doesn't um, do anything obviously malicious and we're testing it on on emulators but even then you you don't know that this is the actual uh, original app in many cases because the original creators you don't even know who they are like, like it's just some random guy that wanted to stay anonymous that pushed something on the internet we don't even know where the original upload source was so it's in many cases it's still very difficult with the bigger apps of course um, it's very easy to make sure that they're original that they're from the original creators because they're still out there developing the apps but with many of these older apps that you know have have worked for a long time uh, but the original uploader, the original programmer has since stopped uh, working on the project. It's just, it's almost impossible to make sure that uh, these apps are actually the original. So I know the problem, but I, I think a lot of these website could, uh, websites could do a little bit more work when it comes to verifying that their apps aren't obvious scams that take you to a website and ask you to fill in some kind of um, survey or whatever. <laughs> so anyways, guys. That's my little rant on unknown sources. Again, um, as, as I've said, that the solution is very easy. Simply go to your Android settings, go to security and enable unknown sources. Of course, you're doing that at your own risk, just like Google uh, warns you about. That's just how it is. With the Play Store, they have some kind of oversight. They have some. They can vet the apps. They check them for common uh, and other stuff, right? Uh, but uh, if you're downloading from any kind of unknown source, well, that's up to you. You're the, you're the person who has to watch out for your own security. And if you don't, it's not their fault, okay? So if you want the links for the guides on how to stay safe and everything, um, you'll find them in the description. While you're there, please leave a like for the video, subscribe to the channel for more of this content, and I'll see you guys next time. Game Jack